Has that bat come to yet? Hmm? Has that bat come to yet? Oh, no. But I put something in the cage next to him that should bring him around. A female bat. <laughs> well, I thought they might as well get used to one another. I mean, after all, tomorrow they blast off together. Oh, that's such a good idea. Let's leave them alone. <laughs> Buddy, you been here long? Got here Tuesday. You're new, aren't you? Yeah, just pulled in today. What goes on in there, anyway? From what I hear, you just wouldn't believe the weird things they build in there. All kinds of kooky things they send into outer space. What do they look like? Look like? You don't think they'd actually let us see them, do you? No, and I'm not sure I want to, anyway. Well, here we are. It's a shame we had to spend all that money on a rented car. It was impossible to get a taxi at the airport. I think the taxis are on strike. When I hailed them, some of the drivers abandoned their cabs right in the middle of the street. <laughs> well, this is the space lab, Pop. But that sign says, keep out. And look at those guards, so fierce looking. My gosh, so that's what they're building in there. Yeah, one of them must have got out. <laughs> they must have built it to send to outer space. Send out? It looks more like something they brought back. Uh, pardon me. You'd better get right back in there, mister. Uh, ma master. Uh, sir. They'll be looking for you. Inside? In the laboratory? Right this way, please. We're, we're your friends, you know. Thank you. Uh, you dog faces are very polite. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> I told you. Your uncle can charm the vultures out of the trees when he wants to. <laughs> you will be able to accomplish the experiment tomorrow. Yes. Huh? Uh, excuse me. Yes, sir. Uh, gentlemen. Oh, dear. I do oh, dear. believe that you have a... Oh, no. uh, gentleman. Oh, I... oh. No. God. Well, genius. <laughs> You are, Grandpa. Come along. <laughs> You've been very, 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 very naughty. <laughs> They gave me a fright walking in here like that. <laughs> yes, but then I realize that must be what Dr. Schweinhardt and his associates have been working on in such secrecy. He always gets the most interesting projects. <laughs> so, uh, we have our own work to do. Right. Back to our bats. Yes. <clears throat> I say, Brewbreaker, one of them's missing. That thing of Schweinhardt's must have taken it. But why? Because Schweinhardt must have programmed him to do it. That's his quaint idea of humor, you know. <laughs> Very unprofessional. Yes. However, I only need this one for the moment. Mm. I want to test his reflexes. I say, Brubeck, what's he doing? I'm not sure. But if he were a human being, I'd say that he was having a tantrum. <laughs> temper, temper. <laughs> easy, boy. Easy, 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 easy. That's it. Yeah. He's a nice guy, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> easy. I want to show you something, Brubaker. This over here will do fine. You know, I'm really going to miss him. Oh. <laughs> I want you to watch how his radar works now. I'm going to head him towards the wall. 
He'll fly to within inches of it, then wheel off gracefully and avoid it. Are you ready? Of course. Here we go. <laughs> It looks like we got stuck with a stupid one. <laughs> Quick, Brubaker, grab him! <laughs> Say, are you looking for a bat? Yes. Uh, oh. Look that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Moderate size. <laughs> I say there, Corporal. Yes, sir. Uh, would you mind calling a cab for me for the airport? I'm taking a plane home. I'd fly there myself, but I've had a very trying day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who's the VIP? I don't know, but he wants a cab. Get a load of the outfit on him. Yeah, but you know how the Air Force is. It must be their new dress uniform. <laughs> Will you come out of there, Grandpa, and change back into yourself? He's probably sulking because the airline made him ride back in the baggage compartment. Please, Grandpa, I'll never trade you for a rotten old squirrel again. Well, maybe we should give him a piece of cheese. Maybe we ought to give her a piece of cheese. It's not a her, it's a him. Yeah, well, you keep out of it. We know what we're doing. <laughs> How can you be there when you're here? Well, I just flew in from Washington. Herman, you grabbed the wrong bat out of the laboratory. <laughs> That's Cleo, a female bat, who they were gonna send up into orbit with me. Gee, Grandpa, it's nice to have you back. Oh, Grandpa, we're glad you're home. <laughs> you're telling me. Well, you know, I'm as patriotic as the next fellow, but I'm not anxious to be the first bat on the moon. <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> well, look how that old rascal's going for Cleo. Uh, isn't it romantic? I always thought that bat was part wolf. <laughs> Grandpa, what are they talking about? Well, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Eddie. <laughs> Herman. I think it's about time you had a little father and son talk with Eddie here. You know, about the uh, bats and the bees. 